So for contacts, I'm gonna wear these from Olens. Before we get onto the skincare, I wanted to introduce some skincare products that I've been using recently, which is the Coxier Black Snail Collagen All-in-One Cream and Eye Cream. This might sound really dumb, but after trying the aged filter on TikTok for the first time, I was so shocked. I realized I should focus more on wrinkle care to prevent them from forming, and these are the perfect products for that. It was my first time trying a skincare product with snail mucin, and it was honestly so cool because look at the texture. And I also wanted to mention that Coxier is a cruelty-free brand and does not test on any living organism. The snail mucin products are also cruelty-free and there are no harm to any animals or living organisms during the process of producing them. That being said, I really love how these products absorb quickly after application so there are no sticky residue but the hydration stays all day. This product contains 92% snail mucin and adenosine which are known for wrinkle care and although it's an eye cream you can still apply it all over your face and neck because you do not want any wrinkles anywhere this is also a unisex product i know a lot of your boyfriends including mine don't like using skincare because it leaves a sticky residue but there's no need to worry about it with this you need to get them to use this because you don't want to be the only one not aging you can actually purchase these on amazon which is so convenient and the link will be in the description i'm gonna put it on and you're gonna tell me how it feels. Huh? Can you switch sides? Why? Can you use this hand? Use this hand. Yeah, that's how it looks better. <laughs> it's starting from these dry hands. This is an eye cream, actually. So it's supposed to be like really moisturizing. Look. How does that feel? It's really moisturizing. Let's have moisturized skin from now on. First, I'm gonna be using this toner. This is a snail essence and vitamin C toner. I've been using this recently and I really like it because it's very hydrating. And recently I've been using these two serums. I used this one first, very hydrating. And then this one, this serum is great for anti-aging. I've been applying sunscreen and like skincare on my neck recently. I used to not do that. Like that aged filter on TikTok just kind of scared me. I do not want to age like that. Like it actually really scared me. Finally, I'm going to be using the Black Snail Collagen Cream. And then I'm going to use the eye cream. And you want to focus on the eye, but you can also apply this all over your face, anywhere on your neck because you do not want those wrinkles on your neck. And then I've been using this lip oil. I'm almost out of it. This one from a pew. I'm gonna start with this primer, this pore primer, and I just apply it on like my t-zone area where I can get a little bit oily. Oh my god, guys, I got the cutest cushion. But I got the shade Apricot Beige, and it's too dark for me. I tried it, and it's too dark. I would have to mix this cushion with something else. I really like the formula of the cushion, though. It's kind of matte. I don't really like dewy cushion foundations or foundations in general just because I feel like they don't last as long. So I'm going to be mixing it with this foundation. I also like this one because it's matte and it lasts long. So I'll just be mixing those two and then I'm gonna be applying concealer I love this foundation combo so much I'm gonna be putting on powder I'm almost running out of this And then I'm going to be using this contour palette. I'll be using this shade for the nose contour. I look so different without it. Like, look at this side and then look at that side. I finally got an eyebrow pencil that matched my eyebrows or my hair. I got the Etudals Drawing Eyebrow in Brown. They didn't really have like a red brown color. And I just fill it in like that. And I just like follow my natural eye shape. Oh my god, I can't even see. I just like brush it following my brow hairs in 
different directions. Make sure they're like coated with the color. If I were to go for warm tone, I would use this palette that I recently got. But I'm too scared. I don't want to go for a warm tone because I know I'm a cool tone. Which one should I do? I know you guys can't choose. I don't know what to do. Hmm. I'm gonna go with cool tone for today. And then if you guys want warm tone makeup, maybe I'll try it out first and then upload it. Because I don't know how it's gonna look like on me. But I'll go with the safe option today. This is such a pretty palette. It's like a very like cool tone, but like it also has like kind of like neutral tones as well. I'm gonna use this shade. It's called Haze. Also applying to the under eye. I'm gonna go bold. I'm gonna get this shade. I'm gonna apply that on the eyelids. Kind of like that, like semi smoky feeling to it. So I like to take some a color like this. I like to make like an ego star with it and create like that little eye bag. And then I like to take the same shade and then apply it on the outer, lower corners. Does this look weird? I don't even know. I really want to try this glitter. I literally used up all of my pencil eyeliners, so I'm just using this one I got from Amazon. I got this like really cheap eyeliner set and it's been my... Back up. Actually, before I do the rest of the eyeliner, I like to curl my lashes just because I don't like the lash curler like ruining the eyeliner. So I just curl it before. There's this product I've been using for the Ego Star and it's so pretty. It's from another palette. I'm pretty sure I used this in one of my videos before, but I mix this and this together i mostly use this but i really like the little like glitters inside of this one you know that i love accentuating the egosar i feel like some people look really good with egosar and some people just look better without it and i love like egosar products i think it makes everyone look so cute and like it makes your eyes like pop in a way and i'll be using another product later on top of this i'm using this mac queen eyeliner that i always use but i got like a darker color i'm gonna use these eyelashes that i got from yes style they're very thick i feel like they're perfect for like that manga um manhwa eyelashes that everyone has been doing and I like to use this duo eyelash glue I've been doing individual lashes for a while now and I cannot work with any other lash glue I feel like this one is the best one and then I do the second big one And then I'm gonna put the little lashes in between these spikes. They're so tiny, but I feel like it will make a difference. I like to secure all of the lashes with a mascara. I recently discovered this glitter liner and I love this one because it makes my eyes like pop out even more. So I just apply it on top of all that glitter I did. And it makes it like more unified, if that makes sense. I recently got this blush from Roman in the shade Vine Nude and I feel like it's perfect for the cool tones out there but don't want to go for like a super pink blush. I think this is a perfect like cool tone nude blush. I do not care about my contour. I just literally go like this. Just make my face look a little defined. Okay, so I decided to go with this one. This one is the Ink Moo Glowy Tint from Peri Pra, but it's like a really pretty like muted purplish pink. And of course I have to bring in my favorite favorite gloss from Roman, which is the Glossing Water Tint, I believe. But this makes my lips so glossy. My lips look like Tang Hulu. 
So that is the makeup and I'm gonna do my hair and I'll be back But before I leave don't forget to check out Coxier for their anti-aging skincare And you guys can check out the link in the description box to shop